my question is, what is that second hit phenomenon? What is that second element or, or third element for that matter that increases the risk? Do we know what that uh, other element is in, in those populations? Yeah, my lab works on inflammation and we think it's inflammation, but again, this is my research and I have a bias towards that because of our interest. But we think that E4 carriers who develop inflammation and not from E4. So let's clarify, E4 does not cause inflammation. But E4 carriers who develop inflammation do not know how to tune it down. So acute inflammation becomes chronic inflammation and in the brain, chronic inflammation results into neuronal loss. This is a hypothesis. I'm not saying that this is true or false. We're studying it as we speak. We have animal models. We have human studies that we are trying to tease it out. But the, the examples that we give to my patients, I'm also a clinician and I see A4 carriers in my clinic. I tell them not to engage, for example, in contact sports or not to have gum disease or not to have any sort of chronic because the E4 does not know how to tune down Chronic inflammation. Has has the inflammatory component been controlled in studies of African Americans, um, or, or a control actually takes it out, but has been a, a, a accounted for uh, in those populations? We're barely touching the surface of APOE4 and inflammation, so this is a new area, of, and I, I, we barely understand and why it's. And there is a lot of research to happen. So. Yeah. Such yeah, yeah. so exciting. It is, I, it is. I cannot it is. wait to, to learn more about that.